The tsunami is arriving right now in Hawaii. Uh, um, and the reason I can't say how big it is is because it's coming in as, as we speak. Um, and the period of the waves, so it's, it's taking like several minutes for it to rise and then fall. But what we have seen at uh, Makapu'u on this island, um, initially it went up about a foot and then it dropped very rapidly three feet. And since that was real information, I figured I'd come out and tell you. What about Kahului? Kahului was the big spot that you guys were worried about. Uh, we haven't. Uh, we haven't seen it there yet. That's that's a little bit uh, delayed. Well, it should be coming in right now. Okay. Uh, but we see it. Uh, we see it. Hanale, Haleiwa, uh, Makapuu, um, and those are all of our real-time gauges. The uh, the others. Yeah, we have to wait. A, uh, so the information that's coming in right now, and the way that the water is rising, is this all what you're expecting? Yes, pretty much. Um, typically, the first wave is not the largest. Uh, you know, having having uh, inconvenienced everybody by you know um, making them evacuate in the middle of the night, it was, I was hoping the first wave might be a little bigger. But but uh, traditionally in Hawaii, it's not the first wave that's the biggest by a long shot. So we already have um, a meter, so throw three and a half feet, say from from peak to trough at at Makapu'u. And by now, it's and uh, when I came out, it was already it was still going down. I don't know what the limit's going to be. Sure. So. Um, the, the following waves, I'm sure, will be bigger. But it's actually happening right now. So there might be some people that might jump the gun and say, well, nothing's happening right now. I'm looking outside. Uh, how long do you think it should take before we're able to give an all clear or, or anything else? Uh, uh, that matter? If these waves turn out to be big, the all clear may take six or seven hours. Uh, if, if they don't get big, then, then uh, then we we would be able to cancel earlier, and, and actually we do not we we do not issue the all clear. We just we just cancel the warning. The all clear is up to the uh, the county to decide whether there's any danger. Tell us a little bit more about how you're gathering this information. There are several tide gauges around the islands. Is that correct? And and you're getting transmissions about every 15 seconds, and you're also paying attention to the cycles. Is that right? Yes, uh, we we have 13 gauges all around the islands, um, and and. Uh, um, some of them transmit every 15 seconds, some of them transmit every couple of minutes. Um, and, and we're able to watch, basically it's a float in a, in a, in a tube and as, as water level rises and falls, the float goes up and down and it gets relayed to us. What, what, what are some of the spots, and I know you mentioned a couple of them, Haleiwa, uh, Kahului, what are some of the major spots that you're most concerned about as you start to see this trend or the trends develop and the information come in? Uh, well, well, definitely Kahului and Hilo and, and Haleiwa. Actually, Kahului, Hilo, um, Haleiwa, and, and Hanalei, sort of the four bad, bad bays. If, if you get a big tsunami anywhere, you get a big tsunami in all of them. Um, uh, and, and my understanding, too, is that it's not just those bays. It's once it gets uh, between the islands. There, there's, there's additional energy that can be generated. Is that correct? Oh, yeah. The, the, um, the energy bounces back and forth between the islands. And... Um, uh, and, and so the tsunami eventually hits every shoreline, even the, shore, even the shorelines on, on the lee side of the island, away from the advancing tsunami. When you yeah. look at the information that you have right now, how concerned are you? Uh, I, 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 right now, I reserve judgment. Um, the, the, the tsunami arrived uh, about when we expected it should. Um, I was expecting it to be a little bigger, but um, right. but uh, you know, give me ten minutes, I'll come back out and, and I'll give you an update. Okay. Uh, and and by then, you may have heard something yourself. Because I, I know you had said that it could possibly get up to six feet, possibly a little bit higher than that. But a lot of people at home might have this, the same Hollywood scenario in of one big wave coming crashing in. Can you take us through? And a, a lot of people may be tuning in right now, so they don't understand. But what can maybe a three-foot wave or, or something smaller than that still do? What kind of damage can it wreak? Uh, well, a, a, a three-foot wave, uh, here we are at, at, at Ever Beach, and, and the, the elevation right here is probably, I don't know, six or seven feet. A, um, uh, a three-foot wave would, would flood the first couple of blocks in from the beach. Um, it, it probably wouldn't knock the buildings down, but it would, it would flood them. Uh, you know, everything on the ground would be you know, basically destroyed, you know, destroyed by salt water. Um, 
a three foot wave coming into a, into a narrow channel uh, can, can rise up into a vertical wall and, you know, and that'll knock you down and beat you up and maybe drown you. Um, can, can you talk about the data that you just got the, at Makapu? Have you ever seen before that significant drop from one to three feet? And, and what does that mean exactly? Uh, yeah, we, we saw the same thing uh, from, uh, from the, the, uh, the Japan tsunami. Uh, pretty much the same, and in fact, the first wave also from the Japan tsunami was small. Um, uh, typically, waves in tsunami waves in in Hawaii, uh, usually the first wave is not the biggest. Usually, it's wave number three or number four that's the biggest. So we, we, we saw that illustration that you handed out just a little while ago, and it's it's pretty alarming. How surprised are you, considering just the, the vast expanse of the ocean, that that energy was coming straight towards us? Uh, well, I've been playing this game for a while, so I was, I'm not okay. very surprised. Um, uh, basically, there is nothing between Canada um, and us that would scatter the energy. So once the beam is formed, it just basically points out of...